We are going to look at trends that are coming back in 2023, and all of these trends are Y2K trends. Some of them are really great and easy to wear, and some of them are not. And some of these I actually expected to be out of style by now, but they are continuing to go and pretty strong in 2023. So if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hitting play. And I would love it if you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. I think one of the biggest trends we are going to see this year, and especially in the spring and summer, are cargo pants. And actually, it's not just cargo pants. We're going to see cargo jeans. We're going to see cargo pockets on tops and jackets and handbags. So this utilitarian style is very, very Y2K, and it's very, very popular this year. You're going to see all different colors in some of these cargo pants. You're going to see probably parachute style, which I've already seen a few of them already out for the season which some will have cargo pockets, some will not, but that's also a Y2K thing. I don't know if any of you remember wearing the parachute style pants, but this is going to be big. It started, you know, a couple of years ago and has trickled in and I think it's going to be huge in 2023. So I have not talked about this trend yet and I really did not think that it was going to last, but it has lasted a couple of years. It's been coming on, trickling in, and I think it's becoming more popular, although I say popular as in we're seeing more in stores, but I'm not sure people are wearing them. So you might want to give me your opinion on this, but it's the low rise waists. And I have not gotten back into the low rise waist. I really like the mid rise, but I used to wear them. I actually have put on jeans that I owned about 20 years ago that were low rise and they just feel really weird <laughs> and I can't wear them. So I'm not sure uh, what I think about this one and how long it's going to last, but I know you probably have an opinion on it, so let me know in the comments below. So cutouts are something that I've talked about for a couple of years now on my YouTube channel. And honestly, I wasn't sure that it was a Y2K trend, but it definitely is. It was really popular in the 2010s, and it was also a 1960s trend, and it may have been in another era. You can let me know if you know if it was. I'm sure it was because most of these trends go in cycles. I, th I think the cycles are lasting a lot less time, so they're a lot shorter now than they were. But I thought this one would have already gone away, but it seems like in 2023, it might be really, really popular because I'm already seeing tops and dresses and all kinds of other knits and things like that with cutouts and really unique looks to them. So I think this is fun if you like this trend and want to continue to do it. It's definitely back and going strong in 2023. So of course, most of us are aware that loose jeans are the new thing and they are still going strong in 2023. I think the loose jean trend is probably the trend that's going to last the longest. Although I think skinny jeans are still relevant. A lot of people say they are out and not relevant. I think they are. I think a lot of different styles are relevant, but if you want a trendy Y2K jean, then you could add a straight leg, a loose straight leg, even the boyfriend styles that I'm seeing a lot of for the spring and summertime, which I think that's a great style with sandals and, you know, cute summer tops and things like that. So definitely a big trend that is still going strong. And I don't think this one is going to fizzle out anytime soon. So even though the trend for skirt lengths is leaning more towards the longer lengths, so your knee length skirt is becoming a trend in 2023, but you still have the midi and the maxi has been trending for a while, but we can't forget about the mini, which is a major Y2K trend that's been around as a trend longer, I think, than the maxi length has been because that has just started. And I don't think the mini is going anywhere. I think it's very relevant in dresses and skirts for the spring and summer. So platform shoes are one thing that I did not think was going to stick around and it has stuck around. It's going to be really big for 2023 still. I've seen a lot of sandal styles in a platform, which I think is why we're seeing a lot of them because I think the platforms look the best on a sandal and I think that's how a lot of people like to wear them. So in 2023, even though flats are trending, 
the platforms are also going to be trending. So I just did a video on how to style denim on denim, or you can call it double denim. So it's just wearing denim on top and denim on the bottom, and it doesn't have to be exactly matching pieces. So if you wanna check out the video, I will link it in the banner and I will put it in the description for you below. I give good style tips and show you some outfit combinations that I do, because this is something that would be easy for you to execute from what you already have in your closet, especially if you own a denim jacket and you own a pair of jeans. So this is a Y2K trend that has been moving slowly as a trend. And in 2023, I think it's going to be really big. And I do have to say that if you don't love this trend at all, and you just don't want to do denim on top and denim on bottom because it's just too difficult, then try to find a really nice denim dress because denim dresses are coming back. They're really pretty and easy to wear, or you could do a denim jumpsuit. So you're doing the double denim, you have denim on top and bottom, and it makes it super easy to execute. So the oversized white button up shirt has been around for several seasons now. And I think spring and summer is a really good time to wear it. And it's definitely going to be back and going strong. And I think not just the white oversized button up shirt, but I think other colors and stripes, and they've just gotten really creative with some of the styles they are putting out. And so this is still a big trend. It is a Y2K trend. I remember doing this years ago and I actually love it for a layering piece in the spring and summer. You can tie it up over a dress or wear it open with a tank top and jean shorts. So there are some cool ways to style this. And I think it's a good one that takes, you know, an oversized version of a classic piece and you can create some fun outfits and be on trend. So just like your oversized white button up shirt, you're going to see oversized blazers again in 2023. These were huge Y2K trends. And I think these trends are going to last a long time. I think it's going to be as popular as it was in 2022. And I have seen a lot of really cute styles. I got two different styles, one hot pink one, one camel one for the winter and I'll probably wear the hot pink one in the spring and summer. I think it'll be fun. And I love these for transitional weather because you can put them on with shorts and um, skirts and they look really cute. So if you haven't tried one yet, you should just try one, find one that's a lighter material. I'm sure we'll see some in linen for the spring and summer. So if you wanna check out any of those videos that I've mentioned, and there is one on oversized blazers as well. I'll link them in the description for you below. So I know a lot of you are probably happy about this one. I know I'm a little happy about it, but flat shoes are back. And in particular, ballerina flats and Mary Janes. And these are definitely a Y2K trend if you did not know that. And it's one of those classic styles that you wouldn't think would be part of that trend, but it really is. And it's back and I think this is a good one to stick with and and to you know pull out your old ones if you have some in your closet and this one may be a little bit harder for us to figure out how to style it again if we got out of that classic styling with it and just have not worn them in a while it might we might need a refresher so if you want a refresher on it let me know I'll do a video on styling ballet flats but Love this one, think it's great, and I think it's going to be really big in 2023. So I'd love to know which Y2K trend is your favorite. Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.